Hello all. Over the next month, we're going to find out whether or not Donald Trump can beat all predictions and win the Republican nomination for president. W what are you guys looking at? Oh, yeah, that. Donald Trump is not an idiot. Trump knows he's never going to be president. He knows that running is great promotion. So I didn't exactly knock that one out of the park. But in my defense, everybody else got it wrong too. And I'm still not 100% sure that Donald Trump is going to get the Republican nomination. Anyway, the idea of Donald Trump as president has gone from a joke to a very real and very scary possibility. Over the past few weeks, as people have reconciled themselves to the idea of Trump as the Republican nominee, there have been some reassuring myths that have popped up. Today, I'd like to tell you that you should not believe any of them. Hillary Clinton should beat Trump easily. Whatever you think of Hillary's record as a politician, there's no question that she's just not very good at winning elections. She was a sure thing in 2008, but she lost it to Barack Obama. This time last year, she was a sure thing for 2016, but she's being very seriously challenged by a guy who's been incredibly polite about her record. And that is that the American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. Thank you. Me too. Me too. Donald Trump is not polite. Whether you think Hillary Clinton is corrupt or that she's been the victim of a vast right-wing conspiracy, there's no question that Donald Trump will have a lot of ammunition for sleazy attacks. And the attacks won't just be sleazy. In my opinion, we've spent $4 trillion trying to topple various people that frankly, if they were there and if we could have spent that $4 trillion in the United States to fix our roads, our bridges, and all of the other problems, our airports, and all of the other problems we have, we would have been a lot better off. I can tell you that right now. We have done a tremendous disservice, not only to the Middle East, we've done a tremendous disservice to humanity. The people that have been killed, the people that have been wiped away, and for what? It's not like we had victory. It's a mess. Incredibly, Trump has been spouting off like this in Republican debates. He's not lying here or being a bully. He's stating simple facts. It's hard to see how Clinton will be able to respond to this. She voted for the war in Iraq, and her main foreign policy accomplishments are creating the space for ISIS in Libya and Syria. Our best chance to stop President Trump may be gone by the end of March. Maybe Clinton will be able to beat him. But there's very little in her record, either in government or in elections, that makes me confident. President Trump won't be able to actually do anything. According to this theory, even if Trump wins the presidency, he'll be powerless. The Democrats obviously won't work with him, and all those Republicans in Congress will still be working for Wall Street and corporate interests. Don't worry, Trump will be a do-nothing president. To believe this, you only have to ignore what has actually been happening to the Republican Party over the past five years. Before a Republican congressional candidate faces a Democrat in an election, he has to go through a primary in his own state where other Republicans can run against him. These used to just be a formality, but the Tea Party has famously used primaries to bump off some very powerful Republican politicians. If Trump decides to start dropping in during primary season to support his own candidates, he could change Congress pretty quickly. It's too late for him to do much of this in 2016, but you can bet he'd do a lot of it before the 2018 midterm elections. And the threat of this alone would be pretty powerful stuff. Remember that all politicians are frightened cowards who will do anything for power. We can't rely on a do-nothing President Trump. President Trump would be moderate. Trump would not be our first celebrity president. Ronald Reagan was a movie star with an anti-government ideology that a lot of people found terrifying. Folks argue about his legacy to this day, but most would concede that his presidency was a success. Reagan was much more moderate as a president than he was as a candidate. I just can't see the same thing happening with Trump. The more racist aspects of his campaign have gotten the most attention, but Trump's appeal is based more on his promises to scrap NAFTA and the WTO. When he talks about taxing people who send jobs to Mexico and China, he's talking about breaking some of the international system's most fundamental treaties. His policies could turn our greatest trading partners and allies into enemies. 
What's more, Trump will have much more power to do damage than Reagan ever did. Reagan had to deal with a Democratic House of Representatives throughout his time in office. He was never going to be able to eviscerate government the way he claimed to want to. Presidents have much more power over foreign policy than they do over domestic decisions. If Trump manages to do anything that he's promised to do, he will damage American power and prestige for generations. He's already endangering the world system that we've been building since World War II. Don't let these reassuring myths fool you. The prospect of Donald Trump as president is, in fact, terrifying. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you'd like to help me make more videos like this one, please click on the Patreon link here to find out how. Thanks.